Well, it's a beautiful day here at Colonial Plaza and uh, the visiting Stardozer Human Resources team uh, will be hoping to be able to knock uh, Bulldozer Power back off their perch. Uh, Kojak Mistral is out. Uh, she's injured and, uh, and that's brought McGurk back into the team, which is something I hadn't anticipated doing in the short term, but he's the best position player we've got there. Hatchet Malibu dropped down the order uh, to be at the tail end just before the pitcher, as uh, as her mood is suffering. Uh, Steve Morrie is carrying a bit of a bit of an injury at the moment. Well, he's just he's just fatigue way. Um, uh, but uh, well, I mean, you know, it'll be what it is. Anyway, on the mound for us is Bubbly Merchandise, and she'll be pitching against Margot Spatula to open the day. And it's a ball. Now oh, that's not a great sign, is it? Try again and see if we can get this one on target. There you go, that's better. Uh, it's up, it's up, it's up. Failure's in the way. And it went off the ground. Oh, failure there, missing the uh, missing the ball quite badly. All right, that should have been an out. Oh, well, uh, it's uh, early days yet. We're allowed to make a few mistakes early on. I mean, that's, that's allowed. Here's Len Styrofoam. And, uh, well, uh, we'll, we'll see if he's uh, come to play. Oh, dear. Oh, and we've given up third. And uh, a big Steve's there to uh, to retrieve the ball. Well, it's going well, isn't it? Um, yeah, try that again, uh, but this time, not quite so horrendous. Well, uh, failure is back in the area once again. No. For some reason, he opted to slide underneath that one. And, uh, and that's, that's given up a, what the heck is going on? Well, I don't, I'm playing badly, that's what's going on. Um, alright, well, we've given up a run and that was a triple. Uh, here's, uh, Herg, party boy. Uh, I tell you what, stop putting the same pitch in twice when the first one misses. I know we try and be a little bit conservative with regard to pitch selection. Let's strike two, chuck him in a curve, see if we can fox him. Not so much, Cindy. Gets it, lovely. Got him. All right, okay, that's more like it. A great piece of play there by Cindy Vapid to get to the ball. Uh, here's uh, Justine Underworld. Uh, we have given up another run there, but you know it's not—it's uh, not a complete disaster. Well, it is actually giving up two runs uh, for for no outs in the first inning is not what you want to see. Uh, that one's gone skyward. Steve's there. Yeah, he feels like he's got it. Out number two. All right, is uh, Bernard Dunk? Uh, he's got a home run this season and six runs batted in. Presumably the bases were somewhat loaded up when he uh, he popped it on over the fence there. Uh, yeah. How are you anticipating a first pitch fastball? I think I've done that once. And that's luck, that is. Yeah, that's just luck. Right, Let's see if you can anticipate this fastball. Oh, for crying out loud. Just team. Thanks, Cindy. Well, Cindy, the only bright spark there in the uh, in the fielding side of things. And Bulldozer Power clunk their way to a, uh, a two-run deficit after their first... Uh, defensive inning and uh, and here's Cindy now uh, she'll be facing off against Dutch retro guy uh, pitching for Stardozer and Cindy puts that one up to centre field uh, solid effort there it's not dramatic it's solid and that's all we really require uh, here's McGurk uh, had a flash in the pan for his uh, for his debut in the season um, but then uh, then shortly after that flash in the pan looked pretty disastrous but that's a nice hit has it got the distance? Yes, it has. And uh, and Cindy's advanced all the way to third. She possibly could have made it home there, uh, but didn't chance it. Uh, here's failure. Failure has been blowing cold lately, and uh, and we'd quite like to uh, to switch the heating element on, if at all possible. Uh, now would be a good time for him to find. Oh dear me! Uh, would be a good time for him to uh, to find his swing. No, no ball two. Failure is, uh, he's not in a hurry, not yet, but he will be now. Okay. That one was a smidge on the high side. You ready, Cindy? You ready? Go. That's it, Cindy's making a play, and is in. All right, good, all right. We'll call that a sacrificial fly, shall we? Yeah, we might as well. Uh, here's Furious Sponge Bath. Uh, Furious has, uh, he's sat out a couple of games in order to try and find his swing, and he's found it here. Ah, uh, that's nice. Up to centre field, Furious there, doing what he needed to, getting onto first base. And, uh, yeah, it's solid. Here's Zoltan. Two home runs for Zoltan this season. Uh, we do, we do like a bit of Zoltan in these parts. Uh, but, uh, but it, has he come to play today, or has he come to do his other special move? Actually, you say it's Zoltan's special move. It's quite a few of our players' special moves, getting everybody out. That one was low, Zoltz. You've killed us. 
Oh, no, you haven't. You haven't. Okay, only one out there. Uh, we do have a runner in scoring position. If Steve can knock this far enough, we will level the score, and that would be uh, acceptable. Steve does exactly what I asked of him, and we've leveled the score, which is uh, acceptable. Good. All right. Okay, all square now. Uh, runner in scoring position, Papal Event Horizon up to bat. Um, he's he's hit it a fair bit this year, but uh, we have dropped him down the batting order to try and capitalise on situations like this one, where we do have runners in play. Uh, but that's not... Oh, look at it go. Yeah, that one's gone. Yep. Yep, stuff you, pal. Home run. Well, I mean, those watching the opening of this, uh, this game might have felt like, oh, it's going to be one of those games. And now you're watching it, you're going to go, oh, it's going to be one of these games. And who knows what's going to happen next? Anything can happen next. Bulldozer Power, they're storming into the lead. His hatchet, Malibu, uh, she'll be hoping to, to play well today. Uh, because uh, the threat of crampons is ever-present. She's going to be caught there, I suspect. Um, no lack of effort, just a lack of result uh, from that one. So at the end of one, it's uh, Bulldozer Power 5, uh, Stardust Human Resources 2. No, that's not a score I would have predicted either. Uh, up next to bat is Thor Haystacks. Uh, oh, oh, she's she's got a disposition. Um, yeah, no, she's uh, she's come with a willingness to uh, to uh, I mean take blood by the looks of it. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, see what she could do up against Bubbly Merchandise, uh, who's uh, she's not our best pitcher, um, but uh, but that's that's never really held anyone back in the past. I think she might have our worst pitching record. But that's never really held anyone back in the past. And as I've mentioned on several occasions, we're not really a team renowned for its pitching prowess. Failure, 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 failure. Come on. Okay, and uh, here's Boris Wet Paper Bag. Uh, he's got a 250 batting average. And uh, he's, uh, well, well, you know. Oh, he, he felt it, but didn't feel it. Okay, let's try the old change up here. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, you see. Yeah, your, your fake bat action, mate. It's only going to work some of the time. No, you fell for a merchandise switcheroo there. They are enjoying hitting it out towards failure today, and, and he seems to have actually put his glasses on now so he can see what the hell's going on. Uh, here's Orbital Velocity, uh, the catcher, who, uh, by all regards, is not much of a baseball player, but uh, we say these things, and then he, he'll promptly plunk one halfway down the car park or some such. Uh, so, uh, we, we should have learned by now not to be dismissive of opposing players. That one's gone skyward. Move yourself, Steve. Steve Murray gets the job done. All right, okay. Well, that was more like it. That's that's more like what we want to see. Here's Bubbly. Uh, she's back 200 this season. I think she's only she's probably only had a couple of at-bats. Well, I would say five. Uh, yeah, that would make the maths make sense. Look at that hit from Bubbly merchandise. I mean, she's out, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that would have put the wind up them. Um, here's Cindy. Batting 500 for the season. One home run, eight runs batted in. Uh, Cindy Vapid has turned this uh, opening batter position very much into her own. Uh, and has been fairly reliable in that regard. Not this time, though. No, I'm a, but I was bigging her up, you see. That's it's fatal. You should never do that. Here's McGurk. Well, he'll be hoping to follow up on the success of his first at bat. Hoping, however, does not make it so. No, he's gone too. Well, if you can't score, at least get the misery over quickly. Uh, and uh, then that will bring up uh, the third inning. Uh, Dutch retro guy up to bat. And he's, uh, he's, he's, he's off piste as far as his mood is concerned. Uh, but then being eviscerated in the first inning will probably do that for you. Papal's gone in for that one. And that's out. Well, that's kind of simple. Here's Margot Spatula. Uh, she had a good time first time. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, show her a less good time this time. Cindy. Nice. Dealt with. Excellent. Len Styrofoam now. Got a triple uh, with a run batted in last night. And, uh, I, I mean, we're not going to give him that this time. No. The one thing he's not having is a triple. Nope, not happening. It's, uh, no, we're, we're not allowing it. No, triple is not a word in this dojo. No, Cindy, not quite there. We'll, I mean, we gave up a single, but it wasn't a triple. No. No, we, we managed to get some of our ducks in a row there, at least. Other ducks were elsewhere. 
uh, doing their own thing. They had places to be. Uh, but uh, the majority of ducks there, all in one line. We're going for the steal. And... Oh, just about. Come on, hatchet, move yourself. Wasn't the best throw in the world, but, you know, we put the effort in at least. Stolen base. Yeah. Zoltan to second. They're going for home. Throw, throw, throw. I'm oh, flipping it. Hatchet's got an arm like a slug. Uh, just, just does not, just no hustle in the slightest. You know what? Crampons may be old. He may be rubbish, but he's old and rubbish. There we go. We're throwing these all over the place now because that's keeping them off uh, off balance, off kilter, and uh, off colour. And uh, we'll see if uh, if we can turn this into a result of some description. Come on, bubbles, make it happen. Ah, managed to manage to draw out a foul. Okay, well, I mean, it was already strike two, so that didn't really count for much. And you're gone. Yeah, I know. It was uh, abusing the strike zone with the curveball there, and uh, you paid the penalty. Here comes failure. Got himself out last time, but got a run for his trouble. Uh, because uh, he was playing for the team, and not for his own stats and or baseball cards. But uh, as I was mentioning last time, failure has been... Uh, he's been cold lately. Uh, he doesn't... Uh, he's not as reliably getting on base as he has been known to in the past. And that's something we'll hope to change. And he's, he's just got on base. Yeah, I know, my commentary's out of date the second I start making it. It's ridiculous. Uh, Furious is uh, is now having a having a stand here. Yeah, ball two, strike one. I would say that probably strike was uh, was a, a ball as well, but he decided to swing at it. That's solid. Uh, Furious there, getting on base. Yeah, 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 that's good. No, we'll take it. Solid is all we really needed. Enough solid throughout the game, and uh, you can rule the universe. Here's Zoltan. Not so much for Zoltan, first time out, but uh, this is his second time out. And therefore, you know, the, the memory is refreshed. Is it? Yes. But is it? Yeah, ish. Okay, we lost a player there, but we managed to uh, we managed to pin the corners down. Uh, and that falls to Steve Mori to try and turn this in at something. Rather than what it is at the moment, which is opportunity only. Uh, Steve's going to be out. Go on, son. Run, 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 and it's in. Beautiful. Sacrificial fly. Yeah, that's the thing I've learned. It's words that mean something to people who play the game of baseball. Uh, here's Papal. Uh, we do have a, uh, a runner still on base here, but Papal's going to have to do something with that uh, using his bat. Or not, as the case may be. He could just stand here and, uh, and wait for some drama to happen. Uh, it's ball three, strike one. No chance, man. No chance. What now, now? I can cue runners to run shortly after the pitcher starts their pitch. That's nice to know. Well, you've never told me that before. And you know what? I just don't care. No, that's a that's a level of... I'll f See, you've thrown me off. I was standing my ground there and I'm waiting for a... No, that's a ball. Um, no, look. I'm never going to remember that, and neither do I care. I win enough games as it is. I don't need to queue people up to start running or uh, tell them to tie their shoelaces in a particular way. That's that's not baseball. That's video games. This is not video games. This is baseball. This is Hatchet Malibu, who uh, is on the path to redemption. Is not on the path to the redemption. Is just hanging around, uh, looking groovy. And uh, is walking it. Yeah, just throws it back casually over his and goes, what was that? Okay, well, it's bubbly merchandise and we've got the bases loaded. Bubbles, I've got some news for you. You're out of here. Yeah, no, we're, we're going to see. Look, look, Kojak, she's all battered. Um, she she pulled her something in a whatnot last week and it's gone badly for her. Uh, we'll bring in uh, Vanessa. Veronica. Sorry, Vanessa plays for someone else. Uh, Veronica's coming in. Tiny little feet, 27 feet tall. It's Veronica Hammock. Ball one. Ball two. And uh, whatever Dutch retro guy's uh, been embalming himself in in, uh, in between innings has not gone well. I think I was going for imbibing there. That's another walk. Well, base is loaded with a walk. And uh, that's another free run to us. And that brings up Cindy. Va yeah, they've killed him. Yeah, they're, they're going to take him out back and put a bullet in him. Because, uh, no, Dutch Retro guy is Dutch Retro sucking. Here's Johan Tremendous, uh, who is uh, a widely... What the heck? This isn't cricket. Um, 
Where did you learn to throw? Also, try getting one on target. There you go. That's what he's supposed to do. Oh, okay. Well, that's an unconventional throw in action if ever I've seen one. Cindy! No. I mean, it was a strike anyway, so that, that it's gone foul is no big deal. Oh, well, I, don't, you know, I mean, it, it, it wasn't the hardest catch that Thor Haystacks has ever had to make. Conservative came in last time. We might still need him. I'm bringing in Disneyland. Or do we bring in Banter? Disneyland. Um, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> what now? No, I didn't want to do anything else. No, what did you just do? I, I was attempting to... Uh, hold on, wait. Wait, no, 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 no. Cancel. Yeah, let's try that. Don't sub batter, just select. There we go. Sorry, wrong button moment action system there. Go and, uh, and meanwhile, uh, back in the pitch, it's... Uh, but what do you mean Jeff Conservative's pitching? Did I press the wrong button twice? Oh, well, I guess I did. Uh, well, it's, it is Jeff, the Conservative Conservative, uh, who is in now. Um, we don't know how if he's got the uh, the muscle to uh, to go for many innings, but uh, we'll keep him in until such a time as it feels like it's a good time to take him out. Uh, hopefully, that'll be the ninth, because then we can bring in a prod. Uh, although, all being well, we won't need to pitch the ninth. Well, it's Conservative racking up a strikeout early on. That's good news. Here's Thor Haystacks. She's looking like she's out for blood. And I made that comment last time as well. And But I'm, I'm selling it now. Thor Haystacks is flipping aggro. Uh, all the times. Try to change up. No. All right. Sometimes you will get a swish off a change up. And that's always pleasing. No. Come on, Jeff. Stop mucking about, man. Do the same again. All right. But over here this time. Alright. McGurk! No, I think what we established last time we let McGurk play is he can't feel for Toffee. Uh, but, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, and the reason we bumped him off the team is he, he also couldn't bat for Toffee at the time. Here's uh, Boris Wet Paper Bag, uh, the catcher. Is he? No, he's the third baseman. Why do I think he was a catcher? I must have seen a C somewhere. Oh, okay. Alright. Nice pitch, Jeff. Um, that one, that one landed exactly where we wanted it. That one didn't. Uh, well, okay. High and tight. Like a good haircut. There you go. Papal, papal, papal. Has it. Good times. Okay. All right. That's, uh, that's two away. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is all going on. Here's Orbital Velocity. The, uh, the catcher doesn't have much of a, uh, of a distance swing. Uh, but, uh, but usually will make contact. Usually. I mean, obviously didn't last time. But, uh, but, I mean, you know, on, under most circumstances, on a fair weather kind of day. Oh, dear. Oh, he's struck out. Look, he's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go cry into your beer. Uh, right, okay, well, uh, coming down to the bottom of the fourth. And, uh, BDP still up. Here's Big Rod. And he's gonna, he's gonna try stuff with, uh... Yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do something. Swing at a high one, and Big Rod will be put away back into his basket, uh, where he will possibly not be offered kibble or milk. Uh, Ulysses' failure up next is uh, he's, uh, he's, he's blowing cold at the moment. Ulysses' failure is he's, uh, he's off his game. Uh, he's not uh, he's not playing with the kind of performance that we expect of him, and that we've seen in previous seasons. This one could be good. There you go, he made it in. That's nice. And nobody got out, which is doubly good. Uh, he's furious. He's doing okay so far today. A couple of singles. But uh, is this going to be a, a change of moment, momentum? Is it? Well, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a hard one to say. Clearly. Given that you mangled the word. No, that was that was in the ground. You, you probably could... Go on, then. Yeah, yeah. Leave it as late as you like. Still in. Yeah. Failure there. Ninjaring second. No, he's not going any further. He just ninjaed second, but that was after, you know, something of an internal debate as to whether that was a good idea or not. Uh, Furious is going to cause trouble. For himself, mainly. Uh, failure has advanced to third, and that falls to Zoltan to try and, uh, try and get a run out of this. Come on, Zoltan. Get on base once. No, 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 no. Kick the ball out of the way. No? Okay. <clears throat> Zoltan there with a feeble little dribbler and uh, and is dead. 
now as a result of that. And we move into the fifth inning where it is Johan Tremendous, the pitcher, uh, who is up to bat. And he's got himself some half-lens green reflective glasses on. Well, that's quite the style statement. I mean, it matches his uniform, which is lovely for him. Uh, but I'm not entirely convinced that it's going to help him in the sense of batting prowess. Uh, the Conservative there, not quite on target. Uh, that one's gone out to centre field. Zoltan's looking at it and catches it with his hand. Uh, here's Margot Spatula. Had a double, but uh, nothing else. She still looks rather pleased with herself, though, and I think that's not necessarily justifiable. Cindy. Oh, no, a little bit late for Cindy. Zoltan there, completely missing the ball um, and uh, giving up another double. Okay, all right, yeah, and then Hatchet dropping the pass. Good, good, well done team. It's nice to see that that form that we displayed early on in the game is still ever present. Uh, that's uh, that's what we live for. That one, Hatchet. All right, okay, throw it somewhere. No? Not really much zing on the pitch, uh, the, the throw there, Hatchet. And you know what? I'm tiring of you. Uh, when you come round to bat next, I'll, I'll have a look at your stats, and if they're rubbish, you're gone. And uh, the crowds will will respond accordingly. Um, okay, what do we got here? Let's let's talk state of play. Ball two, one out. Uh, runners at the corner. Ball does power up seven to three uh, here in the top of the fifth inning. There you go. That's everything you need to know. Cindy, gotcha. Get off my field. Yeah, Cindy is having a is having a very nice day of it in the uh, in the fielding sense. Uh, when it is possible, she she uh, achieves. When it's not possible, she doesn't achieve. But she does move in the right direction most of the time. Big Rod, no optimistic there, Rod. Um, that was never going to come off. Anyway, that's another run given up. Uh, runners back at the corners once again. Two outs now. Here's Bernard Dunk, who's 0 for two today. Uh, we need to make this 0 for three. And uh, Jeff is already showing signs of fatigue. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get at least one more inning out of him. Or at least uh, if we dispatch the, uh, the bad guys here without too much trouble. There it is. Off your trot. Go on, we're done with you. Alright, okay. Well, Bulldozer Power still leading. They're up to bat now. Here's Steve Mori. He's, uh, he's got a single with two runs batted in. Uh, that was a heck of a single. No, well, Steve gets out of puff quite quickly, so we don't. Oh, crikey! Um, so we uh, we don't tend to advance him for a double unless he's got about three quarters of an hour to make it. And uh, Steve's a goner. All right, okay. I mean, it was it was quite a zinging little hit that he got there, um, but uh, but you know, still no good. Uh, Papal Event Horizon had a home run and a walk so far today. And uh, and a leisurely stroll back to the bench. Okay, here's Hatchet. 0 for 1 and a walk. All right, this is your do or tie time, Hatchet. Because uh, uh, I've got no role in this team for someone who uh, who just just doesn't, you know. All right, okay, you're forced to fumble. But have you got the speed? No, you haven't. All right. Yeah, you're history. You're, you're gone. Yeah. And anybody there who doesn't go, you're history. Only even higher than that. Um, uh, was clearly not alive at the right time. Uh, here's Thor Haystacks. Uh, Jeff is looking tired. Uh, come on, Jeff. We'd like to get you through six, and then we'll put in a reliever. Um, yeah, that would be that would be good. But you've got to, you can't give much up, Jeff. All right. Otherwise, I'm going to be displeased, and we'll have to sub you early, which is not what we want to do. Cindy, oh, just missed. I mean, it was a fingertip effort there. Maybe I'm being over-defensive of Cindy Vapid. Maybe, you know, I just have a fondness for someone who occasionally hits the ball properly. Uh, is wet paper bag. If we can't kill this guy, then I don't know what's what. I don't know what it is for me killing baseball players today. That's a bit out of the ordinary. Um, I mean it in a figurative sense. You know, in a kind of Tom and Jerry sense, let's say. Uh, where I might, uh, you know, put some dynamite in his tail and things end poorly for the cat in question. Yeah, it's not something you do in reality, but to a cartoon cat, it's, it's fair game, by and large. All right, Bernard Dunk's hopeless and just got a hit. Yeah. Jeff, are you up for this or what? Jeff is looking very tired now. Um, all right, we'll give you one last go against this catcher. Do not give up a hit, please, Jeff, if it's all the same to you. This is why I didn't want to put Jeff in, you see. I wanted him to rest out this game. In fact, you're gone after this batter no matter what. Hatchet. 
Oh, you could have thrown a second hatchet. Well, I, okay, I mean, I, obviously, I, I, I call the shots there. Uh, it's tremendous. Are they going to sub him? Yeah, they're subbing him. They're bringing in Kiki Tyrant. There's a name to conjure with. Uh, to, uh, uh, oh, yeah, well, uh, we'll see. But, um, you know, Jeff, you're, you're at, you've had enough, man. Um, right. What inning are we in? Seven? Are we in seven or are we in six? Either way, it's too early for the prod. Uh, let's go with Disneyland. Which is what I intended to do to begin with, but I clearly made a pig's ear of that. Um, all right, okay. Mark Disneyland now. Dispatch this interloper. Ah, there's ball one. All right, okay, come on. Come on. There you go. Right. Bit of a slidage. Go on. That's it. McGurk. Yeah, you, you could have thrown it. No? Okay. Should have picked, should have picked off the run to home. Yeah, you wouldn't have given up. A, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, no, no. Lessons have been learned. Have they? No, probably not. Uh, but we've we've had a lesson given to us, and we were present in the classroom when it happened. Uh, whether or not we've taken away the actual message from that lesson remains to be seen. And uh, there you go. Cindy! No, no, no. Never mind, Cindy. You're all right. It's okay. That was, that was outside your control. Stardos of Human Resources closing the score now, 7-6. to six. Uh, two outs, styrofoam up to bat, runner on first. Uh, Disneyland is already tense. You've only pitched six times. Listen up, Charlie. Would you just, come on, keep some focus. You're a professional sporting personage. And therefore, you should be used to people occasionally hitting the ball that you have thrown. Strike two. Disneyland. To Cindy. Yeah. There you go. Sin shows you how to pick someone off at second. I mean, don't get me wrong. That was, that was pretty easy. Right. Uh, Kiki Tyrant is gone. And uh, it's LaDaniel Skyline who's going to come into pitch. Uh, and here we are now into the bottom of the sixth. Uh, Bulldozer power up by one. The opportunity being theirs to go further than that. All right. Let's see what this clown's got. <laughs> Disneyland there wasting absolutely no time. Goes that first pitch. Looks all right. Let's go. Um, Alright, gets on base. It's Cindy. Yep, she liked that one as well. Okay, well, if, if that's the variety of pitches he's going to throw, kind of pretty much exactly where I want it, then okay. We'll see how it goes with that. Uh, here's McGurk. Try not to get everybody out here, McGurkus. Oh! Oh, that's not allowed. Go on, people. Move, 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 move. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Alright. Races advanced. McGurk doing his best to do badly. All right, come on. Strike two. All right, here we go. Ball two. All right, McGurk needs this. That was real edge case stuff. He decided to stand his ground. And he gets the walk loading up the bases, uh, which will bring up Ulysses' failure. Uh, to try and uh, and do something big. Not off that ball, he won't. No, no, he won't. No. Nor that one. No, no, that was that was not a good ball. This one, no. That's good enough, and that's a run, and the bases remain loaded with no outs. All right, we're in the zone. We're in the moment. A furious sponge bath now can only get it wrong. That's ball one. The, uh, the angle of attack there was making it quite difficult to see the ball, but Furious has put this in a beautiful location, and we're going for more. Uh, pulls out. Oh, this is trouble. Yeah, that's probably inadvisable. Yeah, okay. Furious got himself out, <laughs> but we did get three runs off it. So, uh, yeah, I advanced too many runners there. Got a bit over it. Got a bit giddy in the moment. Um, and, uh, and that was, you know, maybe less than we perhaps should have done, but... Uh, we got lots of points off it, so that's golden. Uh, here's Steve Morrie. Yeah, no, quite a lot. Quite a lot happened there. That was a good. That was a good time. Steve, wait, wait for it, Steve. We can't hit every pitch he throws. Remember, because a lot of them go into the wrong place. All right, that one's solid. It's a bit high though, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, you hit a high one, Steve. I thought I'd knock it over the fence. That's not what Steve sounds like. I'm just doing a, you know voice uh here's papal event horizon uh one of two and a walk and a home run he's got a bit of you know he's got a bit of everything going on um he likes that though 
Uh, Paypal Event Horizon has, uh, has given that one a sock in the face. Two home runs for Paypal Event Horizon today, and that's another two runs there as well. And uh, I'll tell you something else. That was a home run the hard way. Well, the long way. It wasn't necessarily hard. I mean, it was no more difficult than most of the pitches I hit. Is that I swung the bat at the right time, made a connection, and bosh, there it goes. Hatchet now. Oh, I meant to sit you down. Okay, well, you can stay in, I suppose. I, uh, I'm, I'm riding a high at the moment. Uh, and therefore, I'll, uh, I'll forgive your transgressions. Use this opportunity. Or, you know, don't. Alright, fair enough. Well, with the side retired, uh, six runs knocked in there by Bulldozer Power. Extends their lead 13-6. to six. Uh, But with the way that we're playing defensively right now, I'd rule absolutely nothing out. Uh, this game could go 39-42. to 42. Uh, I have absolutely no idea which way it's going to go at the moment. Only that it is going to continue to go until it stops going. That was a hit there. Yeah. Off a change-up. Uh, Any time they hit a change-up, I just feel dirty. Uh, you, you only throw a change-up to kind of catch them out on stuff. But no, if, they, if they're not caught out, they instead they tend to hit it a really long way. Cindy, two... All right, take the easy. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've made throw to first a reflex action. And uh, as such, we occasionally miss a double play. But, uh, you know, always take an easy out. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But double plays are cool. Who's going to get that one? No one? Just Zoltan, huh? Okay, fine. And... Oh, you lucky individual there. Person running the bases. Almost picked him off at thirds, but didn't. Strike one. Okay. All right. Okay. Who's this? This is Thor Haystacks. Oh, she's trouble. Yeah. But she got, like, you know, some kind of blood feud on her face. Failure. Missed by a mile. We're going to give up a few points here. Uh, failure there. I'd... Uh, a fairly dubious piece of uh, a batting decision, and that's another triple we've given up. Oh, yeah. Nothing better than giving up triples. You only tend to give up a triple if you've you've made some kind of strategic error vis-a-vis -vis your, your fielding. Oh, where's that going? Into his kneecap. It's a bit vicious. Steady on, Mark. I mean, come on. Oh, okay. You anticipated that, did you? And Have you made the most of that? No, you haven't. Oh, they're going to go home, though. Yeah, well, it's a really long way to throw it. I mean, Zoltan put his put his arm into that one, but yeah. Here's orbital velocity. 0 for 3 today. Not even Mark Disneyland can fail to get him out. That counts. See, that's a foul. That's fine. No, Mark Disneyland is going to make this guy suffer. There you go. Here comes the suffering. Papal. Thank you. I didn't like the way he wasn't facing ball, you see. He's not clairvoyant. He's uh, a left fielder. Right, well, that brings up Disneyland to do a bit of batting. <laughs> I'll let him. It's fine, we've still got a cushion. Admittedly, that cushion has been eroded. Like a big lad sat on it. Um, no, he's going to get caught there. Yeah, but I know. I mean, enough respect uh, for swinging at the first pitch, though. It's a gutsy thing to do, and stupid. Cindy swings at the high stuff. She's going to be gone. Yep. All right, okay. Well, I mean, you, you didn't want to hang around, did you? No, you, you weren't trying to, you know... It's not like your value for money really comes from, oh, how long did the game last? Because we could just add extra innings if that was uh, that was all it took. Yeah, I had, none of these are really, really working for me then. What was that? No, 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 no. Learn to play, says Big Rod McGurk. Here's Ulysses failure. Um, he's... He's at, I don't know. He should have had three runs batted in there, but uh, I know. Oh no, he no. He, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention. I'll be honest. I should remember who it is that does the dramatic scoring stuff. We know that Papal's got a pair of home runs today. That's quite good fun. Um, I don't know, apparently, failure got on base. A fortunate last-minute bounce there. No, oh, here he comes. Uh, no. Yes. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Okay. All right. Anyway, Furious is having a good day. Uh, whether it remains that way or not, we'll, we'll see. The, uh, the Daniel Skyline is pitching at the moment. His stats are all pretty much intact, other than accuracy, uh, which is uh, which is a little off piste as evidenced by that pitch. Whoa! Oh, that would have been a good one. That one, that one could have gone the miles. 
Um, that one, however, is going to be Oot. Yeah, there you go. Very much Oot there. Furious there, putting the team back to bed. Uh, no runs batted in, despite a bit of action in the base area. Uh, that will take us into the eighth inning. And it is the Daniel Skyline up to bat. Are they going to keep him in? I, I wouldn't have thought so. No. They're bringing in Horatio Gunship in his place. And uh, Gunship is actually quite a good batter. Uh, but uh, one batter alone is not going to make a difference. I mean, the best, best he can hope for is, you know, a run of the homing variety. Uh, but he's t hit two foul, which has set him up quite nicely for a change-up if it's on target. Uh, it doesn't really matter. He hasn't really got uh, full steam ahead on that one, and he's gone. All right, Spatula is around again. She still looks very pleased with herself, but then she should do. She's got three or four today with a pair of doubles. A double-double, one might go as far as to say. In fact, just did. Strike one. All right. Come on, Diz. Let's do it. Failure. No. Again with the acrobatics by Ulysses. Failure in the pitching region there. Uh, and the reason for this is because it feels like he might have it, but not quite. And therefore, I'll press a button that will make him do stuff and things. And uh, and the, the end result should be a, like a, a catch of a fairly dynamic fashion. Uh, but how that's manifested so far today, Malibu, lovely, um, <coughs> has been... Poor by comparison. No, he's he's let people go extra and further and different while he's sat on his behind looking a little bit sorry for himself. Cindy. Oh, snatched out of the air. And uh, that's the team retired. Gunship goes for a sit down. Fiona Cannula is coming on in his place. Uh, well, here we go. Bottom of the eighth. Zoltan, Zoltan. Uh, maybe, you know, one or two runs here would be, uh, would be a nice uh, safety net. Zoltan puts that one somewhere awkward and uh, will get himself on base as a result. Thank you, Zoltan. Lovely contribution. Here's Big Steve. Uh, he's uh, one of three today, which is, you know, it's not optimum. No, Steve, Steve, what are you thinking? Well, Steve's gone. No, you, you should have left that. All right, okay, his papal event arised and he's got five runs batted in, two home runs and a walk. He's two of three from his at-bats, and those both went over the fence. And, I mean, it looks like that one might do as well. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why Papal Event Horizon is uh, lighting this team up uh, like it's Christmas. Uh, I couldn't honestly tell you, but I'm, I'm rather pleased that he is doing. Uh, here's Malibu. Oh, I was thinking of substituting her earlier. Oh, well, whatever. Leave her in. Uh, you know, it's too late to make that much of a difference. Ball two. Strike one. Malibu. Do something. Oh, dear. Do something. There you go. Nice. Hatchet Malibu, everybody. Uh, recent addition to the team. Uh, no, I'll tell you what, Diz. You can sit down. Yeah, yeah, no, you've done enough. Uh, bring me crampons. Okay, here's, uh, here's Bernie Crampons. Alright, that's ball one. Now, Crampons is uh, is not the best hitter you're ever going to see, but if he makes contact with it, it has been known to go a long way over the fence. That said, he is as capable as anybody of just standing there and taking a walk. Uh, here's Cindy. Two outs now, at bottom of the eighth. Cindy Vapid. Bulldozer Power with a comfortable lead, but uh, as as regulars to the show will know, there's no such thing as a comfortable lead. Cindy's put that one in a wrong place, and she, she'll be gone, and the sides are tired. Uh, okay, substitution time. The prod is among us. Oscar Cattle Prod needs to put three away without giving up five runs, and we win the game. All right, six runs. You've got a six-run cushion prod. All right, I know you've only got two pitches. Use them both. All right, okay, same again. Yeah, that's good enough. Same again? Nah, the other one. All right, here we go. Come on, put them away. Put it, put it away. There you go, Justine Underworld there. Uh, no, it's gone. His history is out of there. He's done for. Here's Bernard Dunk. Uh, what, how should we start him? Let's start him on a curve. Alright. Yeah, that one went wrong. Alright, try him on a try him on a fastball. McGook. Run, 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 run. Out number two. Alright. 
we might win this you know it's it's just possible it's thor haystack she's got a triple and a lot of runs and bats and all sorts of business going on that one's gone foul good all right there's strike two <laughs> it didn't look like it though did it no it didn't but it was i assure you and you're gone cattle prod finishing him off by jamming his pointy end straight into the dangly parts of the opposition and they have been dispatched uh bulldozer power coasting to victory there 15 to 9 uh making them look stupid in the process uh we went through a lot of substitutions which are not usually our way of playing uh but that's mostly because i got stuff wrong and then tried to compensate for that uh conservative is credited with the win um all right fine good well done him your three stars of the day. Unsurprisingly, it's Papal Event Horizon, who has well and truly deserved it. Three home runs and seven runs batted in. Uh, Margot Spatula, a very good game for her. Looked pleased with herself throughout. And, well, um, yeah, uh, four of five at bat. Uh, three two base hits. Three two base hits. Oh, that's a triple double. Oh, crumbs. Yeah, we really did go easy on her. And then Fury Sponge Bath to round out your top three of the day. We've got some games to watch, so we will. Uh, first up is the uh, Port Megan's Pirates against the Grazer Ridge team. Uh, Tyra Dome pitching for the Pirates. He's uh, not as fit as you would uh, you would anticipate, but we'll see how it goes. Grazer Ridge with a big lead and win. Okay. All right. Okay. Next up, you've got the Ob City Axemen against the Sportsball Union. Uh, Laszlo Ballast is pitching for the Union. Uh, Jack Snaggles there is uh, is their leadoff hitter, uh, and they're facing the likes of DJ Doughboy on the mound, Dave Caustic, Mina Failure, and Chunk Flunkerson. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, it's a close run thing. Sportsball Union lose. Okay. Well, I mean, I reckon they're probably used to that by now, but uh, you know, we we like to mention it every time. Uh, it's two more games to play. Uh, here is the uh, Colonel Space Agency against Colonel School. Uh, the Space Agency are not doing so hot so far this season, having only won two games. Three games now. Okay. Uh, and finally, you've got the Sunshine Fun Bust up against the uh, Erg Men and Flex. I'm going to pronounce this properly. The Erg Melon Flex Chroniclers. Sorry, I was getting a little bit lazy in my diction there. We can't allow that. Uh, Cruise Control pitching for the Chroniclers. Uh, Ethan Hogwash, uh, Barry Science, and uh, Cynthia. Claudia? Cynthia. Cynthia Wrestling Mask uh, will be hoping to do some of the hitting stuff. Uh, the, the fun bus are getting it done, making it happen. And uh, Bulldozer Power will next be facing the Nomads. Uh, Florence Bastille pitching for them. Vivian Crumble on the mound for us. Uh, Hippie Impact, Jesse Flail and Lazarus Recoil will be making up the uh, batting stuff type business and things. Uh, let's have a quick look at the standings before uh, we leave for the day. In the Wood Chipper division, uh, Stardust Human Resources and Colonel School are now tied. Uh, one game back of the Nomads who could make that up in the very next game. Uh, Port Megan's Pirates. Okay, they've lost one more. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Colonel Space Agency are down, possibly out at this stage. Uh, as we hit the halfway point in the season. Bulldozer Power are leading the Bombastic with 8-2. and two, uh, Ahead of Pinalicia Transport and Grazer Ridge. And at the moment, it looks like Bulldozer Power are running away with it. Over in the uh, Bad Company Conference, uh, you've got the Whoop Whoop Division, uh, where uh, the Axe uh, the Axemen are uh, in charge, ahead of Failurewood Hills. Erg Melonflex Chron 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 Erg Melonflex Chroniclers. It's because Chroniclers is a really awkward word. Uh, I've only wrought one, one game this season. They need more than that. I'd say that their season's over. Uh, over in the slogan eight of the beekeepers are still on top with nine wins, uh, making them the top B in the business. The queen B, one might say, in the entire division and league and things. I'm going to stop here. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. You are watching Electro Sports Television, and it is great. Cheerio.